We are visiting with Dennis McFadden, the Executive Director of the Atwood House Museum here in Chatham. He will take us on a tour of the museum and tell us about the events occurring during the month of October. Dennis? Thanks very much. It's great to have you with us. and We're really delighted that you're here today. I thought I'd begin by talking just a little bit about the general purpose of the museum and what we try to do. And then maybe we'll walk through and look at an exhibition and the old house and maybe even get outside and look at the Nickerson camp. We really aspire at the society to be the responsible steward of this town's collective memory. That's really what the Historical Society is about and what we try to do with the museum. And we do it in a number of different ways. One of them is that we do special exhibitions on topics that relate to the history of Chatham and to people who were crucial in that history. An example that's up right now and that you can visit through October 12th, through Columbus Day weekend, is our exhibition about Spalding Dunbar and the extraordinary boats he, he designed. The exhibition begins over here and really starts with an introduction to sailing in Chatham. We didn't want to look only at a personality, but we wanted to talk as well about why sailing was important, what its role was in the life of this community. So we looked at the history of sailing here, which really dates, and I'm talking now about recreational sailing or yachting, back into the 19th century. And looked at that and looked at how that was a part of, of Chatham becoming a tourist destination. From that, we then focused in on Spalding Dunbar, who had traveled here and stayed here during summers as a child, and after completing his education at MIT, settled here and became a designer and, and ran a boatyard here along with his wife, Doris Dunbar. The exhibition begins here with talking about the history of sailing in Chatham, and then continues through these galleries and includes a number of panels on some of his most significant designs, as well as some of his original drawings and some spectacular half models. If you have any interest in sailing, this is a must visit. You've got to see it. But even if you're not interested in sailing, if you simply love Chatham and love the town, this is so much a part of who we are that we hope you'll come and visit us. The museum will be open between now and the 12th of October from Tuesdays through Saturdays from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. Please do stop by. The Atwood House Museum and the Chatham Historical Society were founded in 1923, and they were founded for a very specific purpose in mind, which was to preserve the house that we're now in. This is the Captain Atwood House. It's a mid-18th century house and the house now appears much as it did at different moments in its history. The Atwood family owned the house for five generations, and it was only when they decided to give it up that it became the home of the Chatham Historical Society. A group of local women, members of a reading group, came together. They had been concerned about the loss of Chatham's history. And this house, and preserving it, was one means they found to preserve that history and to save it. So the house was then saved in the 1920s and since has been the home of the Chatham Historical Society. In addition to preserving the house and presenting it to the public through a series of tours that we offer on a regular basis, the other way that we save the history of this town is through its records. We have an extraordinary archives that contain the, the records, the letters, the photographs of many individuals and many events and places that have been important in this town. The archives are available to the public by appointment so if you've got a personal interest or a personal research project you'd like to pursue, please get in touch with us. We'd love to have you come in and use some of the resources we have. I'm a relative newcomer to Chatham. I've only been here a little bit more than a year. And when I came here, and when I was actually thinking about coming to Chatham, I came to the website of the Chatham Historical Society and looked at the paintings that are in this room. These are the murals by Alice Stolnacht, and they are an extraordinary collection. When I saw them on the website, they really didn't impress me a whole lot. They were a little bit hard to understand and appreciate. Once I came here and actually walked into this room, I was just extraordinarily blown away by them. This is one of the really unique things that we have at this museum. Nobody else has something like these. Alice Stolnacht painted here in the 1930s and 40s, and as you can see, the subject matter really crosses the lines between her interest in, in public government, in small town policy, in small town governance and the way that it operates, and also in religion and the place of religion in American culture. This combination produced this extraordinary group of paintings, inspired by the latest currents really in European painting at the time, but also the people who were painting for the WPA and doing public murals. 
And then with that, she combined the, this interest in character and in personality of a small town, and then went one further and actually chose as her subject the community citizens of Chatham, people who actually lived here and worked here. And we still have people who can walk in the room, point to someone and say, oh, that was my school teacher in such and such a grade. It's an extraordinary way to connect to the past of this town and a real blessing and a real offering for this town that nobody else has. The life of a town like Chatham is found in part in the extraordinary paintings of, of individuals who lived here, uh, in the furnishings that furnished a house like the Atwood House. But it's also found discovered in artifacts like this. Uh, this little cabin, this camp really, it's one of the North Beach camps, was owned by the Nickerson family. And they built it in the 1940s as part of an ongoing series of camps that were built on land or on a sand spit that really in some places no longer exists. And the actual location of this camp no longer exists. If it had been allowed to stay on the North Beach, it would have been washed out to sea. We were very fortunate in that the Nickerson family made it available to the museum, brought it over across Pleasant Bay on a barge, and had it installed here at the Aqua House. It's again one of these unique things that nobody else has, and that speaks so clearly to the history of this town and the life of this town. These camps are part of a, the use of the North Beach over time, beginning at the end of the 19th century when it was often a site that hunters and fishermen went to and stayed where they stayed briefly, and then subsequently really became a resort for the people of Chatham, for people who lived here year round and would maintain these very simple um, cottages or camps out there. No indoor plumbing, no electricity, no refrigerators. You took a 50-pound block, block of ice out with you on Friday if you were going out for the weekend. People have also report of having spent essentially their entire summers here, and then there are wonderful stories of people who went out for the winter holidays as well. It's again part of the history of Chatham, and a part that in large part has vanished. There are a few camps left, but nowhere near the 40 or so that I believe were originally there. And here you can see one exactly as it looked when the, when the owners last walked out of it. Inside, the furnishings are still there. There are a couple empty liquor bottles on, a, on one of the shelves. The ice box is there, the wood stove is there. It's all intact and a wonderful glimpse into an extraordinary chapter in our past. This is the light from the Chatham Lighthouse, one of the original ones. And whenever it's on and turning around, you can stop in because the museum will be open. And while that's only for a couple more weeks in October, our programming runs year round. And we'd love to see you at our Sunday lectures or one of our other special events. We've got a couple of those coming up in October. The first is on Sunday, October 13th at 2 in the afternoon, when Guy Berube will talk about his uncle's work in developing the airport here in Chatham. The second is our Haunted Happenings, which is an event for kids between ages about 4 and 10 on the 26th of October, that's Saturday afternoon from noon to 3. There'll be some fun activities and a great time for the little ones to come and have a, have a prelude to the Halloween holiday. Thanks a lot for visiting the Atwood House. It's been great to have you here.